I often get comments and I often get questions whether or not San Diego is still a good place to invest. If you're not looking to live in a home, is it still okay to buy a home? Isn't it, is it even equitable to do so? Well, in this video, we're gonna cover exactly that. We're gonna go over things that really will help you determine whether or not San Diego is a great investment for you. Hey, it's Alex Villari. I'm a local real estate agent here in San Diego County and all the time I'm asked, hey, what's the deal with the San Diego housing market? The prices are way too expensive. All of California is overinflated. Everything all about the prices. It's just too much to invest. You can't make any money. And I'm here to tell you that's not correct. And in this video, we're gonna debunk all the myths and everything that most people talk about when they think about investing in San Diego County because really there's plenty of opportunity here and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can go out yourself without a realtor or without any representation and find a great deal so I have a fantastic resource so you stick around I'll tell you exactly how you can get your hands on that resource and find it a fantastic deal because I'm here to tell you there's plenty of deals to be had here in San Diego County. So real quick, are there even deals in San Diego County? Yes, there are and some of them are actually quite equitable in terms of the capitalization rate. Now the capitalization rate is essentially it's just the, the a breakdown one of the factors that many investors take into account whether or not a property is a good or bad investment. Now just a quick definition on capitalization rate it's basically the annual income that the property produces in rental income versus the value of the property and you know if you go like places back east for example maybe to the Midwest, you can find, you know, homes that are worth maybe two fifty, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000 and their cap rate or capitalization rate is around 7% to 10%, which is fantastic, meaning the property is going to cash flow really, really well. However, here in the luxury market of San Diego, our properties actually do really, really well. So what kind of rental properties do we have here? Well, throughout the entire San Diego County area, if you're looking for something more residential, basically four units and below, we have a ton to offer between all the beach cities, the places around the schools, um, and, and really any type of building that you can possibly want to invest in, we have it here in San Diego County. So we're today gonna look at the major two types of rentals that you can get here in San Diego. So the two major type of rentals being that this is a tourist destination, obviously we're gonna have the vacation rental market. That market is huge, it really lines the coast or around the wineries up towards the hills. And uh, you know, you can really get a large capitalization right there for the area. Now, typically what we're seeing currently in the market within San Diego County, our capitalization rate for the vacation rentals are around 5.1%, which is actually really, really good. 6% is mostly like kind of unheard of, 7%. I mean, if you can find a 7% capitalization rate, you better snatch that property up quickly because it's not gonna last long. Now, the other type of rental that we do have here in San Diego County very frequently are long-term rentals. We have great uh, you know, companies that house their employees here in San Diego County. There's lots of corporate housing, which those corporations will rent a large structure or building, or if you own multi-units, they'll rent those from you. Um, I have many clients that I've helped actually do this exact thing. So if that's something you're interested in, drop a comment down below and I can get you more information on that one on how you can utilize um, the companies here in San Diego County to rent out any multi-unit properties you do have. But if you're looking to invest, um, really we got the long-term rental game and the vacation rental game. The long-term rental game is really gonna be good for you know student housing, you can rent them out to colleges, you can rent them out to military, um, or really just families at all because housing is very, very short here in San Diego. Obviously, we can kind of figure that out by supply and demand. The prices just keep going up. So 
those are the two main things, the rental and vacation rental markets. So when you are looking to invest here in San Diego County, it's really important to get your expectations right. You know, don't come in here thinking that you're gonna find this golden goose money tree producing property. I mean, yes, you could find those. However, they're very, very far in between. Now, the resource that I'm gonna share with you in a bit will show you how to ultimately find those deals, but in order to score a deal like that, you need to be willing to put in the work and um, you know this resource is gonna tell you exactly how to do that. So just stay tuned for, for one minute and I'll get that to you. However, building your expectations correctly really comes down to understanding what to expect from the San Diego market as a whole where your renters are going to be, what type of renters you're going to get, and how often the turnover is because all of those things will really determine whether or not renting or owning rental property in San Diego is correct for you. So real quick, if we look at some of the obvious hot zones for rentals, we can see that being close to the beaches, close to, for example, Legoland or SeaWorld or downtown next to you know, a high area of tourist attractions, obviously those are gonna be the better income producing properties. However, those are also really good for the vacation rentals. So you have to really weigh the differences when you're looking at buying in these high dense attraction areas, what type of rental you're gonna run. You know, property management companies are all over San Diego County, so you can definitely get in touch with them. I, I have a, a link to one on my website, which we can go over if you want to get in touch with a property management company that's in North County. I have a great resource for you. Otherwise, when you're also looking to purchase a rental property here in San Diego, you need to also look at the not so hot zones. And this is where you might find some good deals. So for example, if we look at the five freeway that runs north and south throughout the entire county, obviously the west side being closest to the beach, the west side of the five freeway that is being closest to the beach, that's going to house a lot of the more walkability. People are going to be looking, hey, how close can I get to the beach when visiting San Diego? Or maybe they are closer to downtown areas of each of those cities. However, I have noticed and I have seen plenty of properties where if you just go over to the east side of the five freeway, you can get maybe two, three hundred thousand dollar savings right off the bat, let alone less of those properties have been picked up and turned into rentals. And a lot of those families have owned these homes for quite some time. So you can actually get a home that needs a little renovation and run what's called the burr strategy on most of these. So yes, you can do the burr strategy here. It happens all the time. And we, you know, we still have plenty of people investing in flipping houses, investing, buying and holding. So needless to say, yes, you can get a great deal here in San Diego. So if that's something you're looking forward to well then the next tip is for you so how do you find these deals well I have put together a full complete guide that will guide you step by step and list all of the A through Z ways to find these deals whether it's on foot uh, any city it really works anywhere throughout the entire country so if you want that resource down in the comment section just go ahead and let's, let's say deal guide let's just uh yeah put deal guide down into the comment section and i'll shoot you the link to that uh deal finder guide that i have put together and it's tried and true and tested and it works 100 percent of the time i will say the lone caveat is that you need to be ready to put in the work it's not going to be this get rich quick key to your success i mean it might be your key to your sex success but it's not going to be this thing that just delivers deals you ultimately need to go out and find them or link up with with resources like a fantastic real estate agent that is always looking for these deals. If you link up with them, they might have a way for you to piggyback off of their research. However, a couple of these things that are in this guide are things like linking up with wholesalers, how to find wholesalers, linking up with investors, and knowing when investors are gonna sell, how to find homes before they actually come on the market, what to look for, things of that nature. So if you want that, 
valuable, super valuable, tried and true tested resource of you know how to find a fantastic deal in really any real estate market, ups, downs, or indifferent. Drop a comment down below, deal finding guide, and I'll shoot that link over to you. But to sum up this whole video on is San Diego a good investment or not? It ultimately boils down to what you're looking to accomplish. If you're looking to accomplish, you know, getting close to the beach and having some fantastic vacation rental property, or you're looking at the long-term game, San Diego is a fantastic opportunity. It will always be a fantastic opportunity. And if you don't believe so, feel free to check out the history of San Diego rental market and really dive in and do the research yourself because you will determine that ultimately that buying a home in San Diego with the idea of holding it long term is going to yield you great wealth in the future. I have known many, many people that have done it. I'm doing it myself and I just want to pass this valuable information to you so you can be ultimately wealthy and have great success in the future. So if you've had any value from this video at all, please don't forget, smash the thumbs up button, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. And at any point, if you need to get a hold of me, my phone number will be right here on the screen, nice and big for you. It's also in the description. But until the next video, thank you for your support, and we'll see you next time. You.